Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today's video will be recapping all things match day two for Olympic qualifying. If you haven't already, watch my match day one recap where I go over how Olympic qualifying works and match day one for both the Nations League and CONCACAF. The link is in the description below. So let's get right into match day two. First, CONCACAF qualifying. With Canada securing a win in the first match 2-0, they lead Jamaica in aggregate goals, two goals to none. Match day two will determine who qualifies for the Olympics. In order for Jamaica to book their ticket, they have to win and score more goals than Canada already have. A do or die game in Toronto started off with a glorious free kick goal by Drew Spence in the 33rd minute. What a way to silence the Canadian crowd and get a goal keeping Jamaica's Olympic dreams alive. I love free kick goals, so I was geeking very hard when this happened. But just six minutes after Jamaica scores, Canada comes back with a wide open header in the 39th minute to tie it up 1-1. At this point, Jamaica needs to score at least two goals and win to keep their Olympic hopes alive. But Canada puts the nail in the coffin by yet again scoring a header in the 50th minute to secure their spot in the 2024 Olympic Games. Canada wins 2-1 and are our first additional team to successfully qualify for the Olympics to defend their 2020 title. Now, the Nations League. Here are our current group standings after match day one. In group A, England and Belgium have three points. In group A2, France lead with three points. Austria and Norway both have one point. Group A3, Denmark and Iceland both with three points. In group A4, Spain and Italy lead with three points. First, group A1. First match was a heavily anticipated one. The Netherlands opened scoring with a beautiful goal side netting in the 39th minute to give the Netherlands the lead 1-0. The Netherlands keeper was an absolute brick wall this entire game, refusing to give England any goals, which was so crazy. But in the 64th minute, England come back to tie it up 1-1 with a side netting goal. In the 90th minute, the Netherlands come through with a last minute game winner, giving them their first three points in Group A. Belgium and Scotland also played each other, ending in a draw 1-1. Now Group A2. France played Austria, beating them by one early goal in the fifth minute that literally went through the keeper's hands. I know she was really upset by that being the winning goal. Next, we had a very exciting game with Portugal versus Norway. Norway scored first with a chef's kiss goal outside the box. Then Portugal came back in the 37th minute with an absolute non-savable ball in the top right corner. Then a penalty in the 42nd. The keeper gets a touch on it, but it wasn't enough, giving Portugal the lead 2-1. But then Norway comes back and is like, we're still in this, tying it up 2-2. But then Norway commits another foul in the box, giving Portugal the winning penalty, ending in a 3-2 win for Portugal in their first three points in their group. Group A3. Germany definitely had something to prove this game and they did exactly that. First goal was probably the fastest goal I've seen in a while and the placement was just insane. The keeper had no chance. 34th minute, a foul in the box gives Germany a penalty to increase their gap 2-0. 76th minute, a great layoff ball giving Germany another goal to secure their three points with a win 4-0. Denmark and Wales also played with an early penalty called in the fifth minute, giving Denmark the lead. Denmark then scored another goal just five minutes later with a cross into the box and an easy finish. Then Fishluck, the GOAT, scores a banger at the top of the box to give her country their first goal of the tournament. But then Denmark just take over, scoring goal after goal after goal, beating Wales 5-1. Last group, Group A4. With only one goal between Sweden and Italy, Sweden win with a goal in the 14th minute to get three points in their group. Next was Spain versus Switzerland, a World Cup round of 16 rematch with almost the same exact result. Spain score goal after goal after goal, with this goal in the 87th minute being my personal favorite of the match, and Spain end up winning 5-0. So here are our match day two results. The most exciting matches to me were definitely England versus the Netherlands, Portugal versus Norway, and Sweden versus Italy. Here are our group standings. Belgium surprisingly lead group A1 with four points. We'll see if that stands after the next match day. France with six points in group A2, Denmark with six points in group A3, and Sweden and Italy both with three points in group A4, Spain on top with six points. So after match day two, we have Canada securing the second spot for CONCACAF qualifying, joining the US, Brazil, Colombia, and France. The Nations League will return later this month in October, where both AFC qualifying and CIF qualifying are set to resume. So with that, comment below your thoughts on Olympic qualifying so far, and I will see you guys later with another video.